Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of the Bad Sheet Maker. Uh, this is the last episode. Uh, you're going to be done after this. All right, congratulations. Let's get started. Alright guys, and then to set up the CSV, we're going to go into, come over here, create a new, add an item. It's going to create a new class, a new class, and then down here we're going to set it to uh, CSV text reader. All right, add, and then I'm over here, right? And then we're gonna uh, do similar to what we did to the uh, the accelerator, right? So there's gonna be a public class, and then inside of that, we're gonna create a method. And it's gonna be public static void, and we're gonna call it read CSV text. And oops, I'm going to take that back. We're going to give it the arguments that it's going to take, right? And so it's going to take uh, external command data. And then we're going to import that in. And it's also going to take element ID. And then lastly, it's going to take the string file path. Okay, and then you're going to import that in. Is it under DB? Yes. <clears throat> and then come down here, and we're going to copy from our accelerator. Load this in. Okay. We give ourselves some space and do the imports that we need. We need them to command data. Cool. And then import that. Bring the application services. Okay. Now we're going to set the counter. So long count is equal to zero. And string CSV line is equal to null. And then it's going to be system dot IO dot string reader. And then we're going to name this one SR CSV new system dot io dot stream reader file path okay and then we're gonna say well we are reading it while CSV line is equal to SR CSV dot read line. It's going to be, it's not equals to null. Let me say char, a list of char characters. Oh, yeah, these brackets after the um, type right here, that creates a list. FYI. So a separator is equal to new char. This. It's going to contain, we're going to separate it by a comma in brackets. Uh, string list values is equal to csv line dot split. It's going to split it using the separator. options dot none. All right. Now we're going to check if the values are valid. Okay. 
we're going to do that by if values are not, oops, first value is not equal to null and values dot length are greater than zero and values one are not equal to null and values in the second column length are greater than zero. Right? So just checking the first and second column, seeing if there's anything in it, right? So checking for null. Right? And it's also checking if the if there whatever's in it, you know, is, has length greater than zero. So greater than zero. And then we're gonna do similar to what we did uh, over in the other in the accelerators in the view sheet. equal to view sheet dot create doc title block ID and is do sheet dot sheet number is equal to values zero check this is supposed to be title block ID And that is supposed to be coming from here. Go. All right, and then uh, let's see values, sheet number, sheet name, sheet dot name. Let's go to values. So whatever values in that second column, right? And then sheet dot lookup parameter and again we're checking for the sheet suborder set count and then after that of course we're going to plus one okay and then finally that's done so we're going to come back over to can.cs And we're going to do CSV text reader dot read CSV text, and it's going to take in command data, title block ID, and the file name. Okay, and then after that, it's going to be, we should have a tx.commit, which we do. Clap some space. Clap some space. Okay, let's test it out. Hey guys, so I ran my uh, project and I, I came up with a couple errors, all right? So first one uh, was the form one that load that we initially written in our title block chooser form, right? That was coming up with an error. Uh, it wasn't loading the title blocks uh, in our title block chooser form. So uh, the way we cured that is the form one load, um, when I'd written this initially, right? I had named the form form one. Uh, so, but the way you cure that is uh, come back up here, right? Go to the graphics, and then you just click on uh, the initial form, right? Double click that, and then you'll see this pop up, right? It'll be title block chooser form or whatever you named your form underscore load, okay? So when, um, so this is just like when the form loads, do this, right? And so we're gonna want this. So cut that out, and then just come down here and paste it right here, right? Uh, that should take care of that one. And then the other one uh, was I had made a um, careless mistake in writing out my parameters group. So if we come up here to where we told it to look for our parameters group, right? So this, when we had initially written it out, right, it was sheet parameters group, right? It should have been sheet parameter group. I was getting a null error. 
Um, and when you check that right, you just uh, go over to your Revit, right? Go to shared parameters, and you'll see whatever you named that group, right? So just make sure that they match the same name, all right? Uh, the other one we were getting, uh, well, we were, so the null error was coming up here on the sheet suborder. Uh, the other thing we missed was uh, we just need to add the uh, dot close, right? So anytime we open up a file and tell it to read something, we need to close that. Otherwise, um, that can create errors for us. Uh, later on down the road. Okay. All right. Uh, I believe that was it. So we'll go ahead and run our code now, uh, and then we should be good. All right, guys. So we've created a new project, right? We're gonna go ahead and test out our button uh, after the corrections that we've made, right? So again, this is the sheet list that we're trying to make, right? Just here in Google Docs, create the sheet list, right? And first column, second column. Okay, that part's pretty important. Okay, so whenever you do this, just make sure it's the first A column A and then column B are the ones that have the columns in. Okay. The blank lines don't matter because we've already uh, set a catch for that with our uh, test for empty or null method. All right, uh, let's try it. Come over here, we're going to hit our button. <clears throat> and then that one, and we're going to do it as a CSV. And then we're going to choose the title blocker, right? So we've all these options are so Revit's or it's gone ahead and loaded in all the title blocks that we asked it to, so we're going to say it's going to be E42. Hit continue. And as you can see, the sheet's populated. Okay, so we have all of them <coughs> from floor plan 1 to 7. And then we also have our uh, schedule. Right, so if we go in here, right, we can even see too also that you know, our sheet suborder was also included. Right, so here, and if we go down, right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then if we go there, we check it, <clears throat> and it is our thirty by forty-two title block. Okay, and it's the title that we want, and the I'm sorry, the sheet number that we want, and the title that we want. And then uh, if we go to our schedule, right, we also see that it's come in just like we asked, right? So we created the schedule with sheet number, sheet name, sheet order, discipline, and sheet suborder, which is what we wanted. All right. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys got it this far, uh, you guys are champs. You guys are awesome for making it this far. I know this stuff's kind of uh, cut and dry, but this stuff will also save you incredible amounts of hours uh, on the work day. You know, when you have those deadlines in, you know, you just, it's, they're, sometimes they're just hard to meet and stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, so don't forget to like and, subscri like and subscribe. All right, uh, on the next, for the roadmap we have, uh, it's going to be creating a new wall type. All right, so... Um, that one's kind of tricky figuring it out, but um, I eventually got it. Uh, and then after that, we have you know like create a drafting view, and then you know place element in drafting view, and then you know like place on sheet, and so forth. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.